Hey. So, so, what were your expectations going into this trip? I would say I had very much of an expectation. Uh, kind of went in hoping that uh, I would learn uh, about God's people and that it's not always the same uh, way of worshiping, but uh, as long as it's in His name, then for His glory, then it's good. My favorite memory would probably be uh, the little things like spending time with the, the kids at the uh, compound, uh, getting to know them, getting to uh, kind of like open them up and uh, get to know them, uh, get get them to talk and little stuff like that. Uh, there is this one boy, Jeremiah, and we were out in the lawn, we were playing basketball, and he was asking for pointers on uh, just how to be, you know, better at the game, and we spent forever talking, and I taught him some moves, taught him about, you know, the NBA, some of the great players that uh, we have in America, and uh, just stuff like that, you know. Uh, what do you think the hardest part to you would have been during that trip? Staying focused on the goal of not me, just kind of, uh, it was going to be uncomfortable, which we knew, and it was, uh, be, it was different from what we're used to living like, and so just kind of getting used to that and uh, being around a good group of people who were uh, in the same situation as me really helped, but... Just getting to know, uh, getting used to living uncomfortably. most impactful moment was probably when we were playing sports, the Indian sports with all the kids from the school and uh, every single one of them was so gracious and so open to teaching uh, their sport and being uh, like open to our confusion when we did had no idea how to play it. And uh, they played on a dirt field, and you could tell whenever they uh, got off the chalk, just that was all the smiles broke out, and that just a little stuff like that was enough to put a huge smile on everybody's face. Funniest moment was definitely the day we got to the compound. Uh, we brought a soccer ball that we were going to leave at the compound for the kids to play with. And we had just pumped it up in our uh, room, and we were kind of like juggling it back and forth. And one of my buddies uh, kicked it, and it went over my head, and I tried to jump and catch it, but uh, whenever I landed, landed on the uh, prongs of a charger, and uh, those prongs went right into my foot. So it was a good way to start the trip, but you know we got it cleaned out, and it's just something to, uh, that we look back and laugh at. Yeah. My biggest takeaway is I I've got I've got I've got a good uh, I've got a nice house I've got a great family uh, and going over to a third world country where uh, these kids didn't have a family they didn't have uh, like a biological family they had each other and Veer and uh, being exposed to that kind of life and that kind of uh, the attitude that they had towards their situation which was nothing but joy nothing but happiness uh, never saw a frown on a kid's face uh, just kind of opened my eyes <laughs>